This is C Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co anchors with me, Ife Oluwa Oshokeye and Nimi Dekombi. Hey gang, gang. You're still on this year, gang, gang. I don't understand. Last born, say. She thinks I'm the only child. You think I'm the last born. Are you not the last born? I'm not. <laughs> My father is a very, very active man, don't uh, worry. Okay, I'm moving on. Last one. One. <laughs> Harvey Weinstein is accused of new sexual crimes in Los Angeles. Prosecutors in LA charged Weinstein on Monday with um, raping one woman and sexually assaulting another in separate incidents over a two period in 2013. Los Angeles County District Attorney Jackie Lacey said in a statement that Weinstein faces new felony charges of forcible rape, forcible oral copulation sexual penetration by use of force, and sexual battery by restraint. The attorney said, we believe the evidence will show that the defendant used his power and influence to gain access to his victims and then commit violent crimes against them, end of quote. The charges came as after Weinstein appeared in a New York court for the start of his criminal trial on similar charges in a separate case. Dozens of women have accused Harvey of sexual assault and harassment. I know you're very tired of this case, but yeah, yeah I'm I'm tired, but at the same time I'm <laughs> following it. But mm -hmm. it seems like um, a seasonal movie because yeah, it doesn't, yes, I see, like, doesn't have yeah, yeah like movie. it's not going to end anytime mm -hmm. soon because at the end of the day, the prosecutors already said. I mean, the defense attorney already mm -hmm. said that if more women should come forward after all the criminal charges brought against him, which started yesterday, that it would be prejudiced. You understand? Mm -hmm. And then we now have two women from Los Angeles, and I can bet that before the end of the week, we'll have more women from that yeah. same mm -hmm. Los Angeles. But what baffles me the most about this case is that these women are going to be admitted as witnesses in his New York case. Mm -hmm. That's what I don't get. So. Can we just get it over with and sentence this man already, exactly. like we did with Bill yeah, Cosby, like we have our Kelly in jail, like we have the rest of the mm -hmm. Kevin Spacey ongoing? We're still go the guy just settled like about four hundred and something million on the civil case. Deal on around five million dollars or something. Five million dollars. Anyway, I, can't, I just can't. I can't wait for this. It's a seasonal end, movie. Let's see how it goes. Go, right? yeah. I hope he finds. I hope he gets the what he deserves. Justice. I hope so. Season too. three, episode four. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, moving on to the next story. Peter Okoye is advising his fans to focus on their mission and forget about Vision 2020. In an Instagram post, he said, and I quote, no time... Um, no time, never be ashamed of your hustle. Nobody will feed you if you go broke. Stop making excuses, get out there and start something no matter how small. Have a wonderful week ahead. Enough of the vision 2020, start mission 2020. Yeah. yeah. I think awesome. it's good advice. Yeah. But um, I saw people putting, oh, first day of the week, first working day of the year, and mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I, I, I didn't I even remember. Like, I couldn't relate. Like, <laughs> I could but, not relate. I mean, no, no, I started relating when I saw the traffic, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, tra the, tra the traffic re reminded me yeah. that, yeah, people have Everybody's started back. work and all that. But um, what Peter is actually saying is true, because um, you need to be proud of whatever you do, mm -hmm. whatever. Find something doing. You know, you see a lot of youths these days that just sit around, and they're just waiting for handouts, like, mm -hmm. and, and, and me something, give me this, give yes. me that. But you see a lot of people that are making, I think we saw a very innovative young man today mm -hmm. that is a carpenter, but you can't call him a carpenter, carpenter because a well, yeah. carpenter with a difference is doing something different. And I think I said doing something different. No, well, <laughs> 2020 has caught up with me. <laughs> but um, he's doing something with a difference. And um, I think um, it's not too late. If you feel like um, I graduated with the first class, we don't want to hear that story no more. Look for a book stuff to do learn something learn how to do something that's why you have your hands that's why you have your legs so if you can't find a job go out there and learn how to do something if it's slippers if it's whatever it is you want to learn just learn any any just get busy just get yeah. busy just start doing something and you never know where your success will come from because what's the guarantee that somebody who is doing a menial job and somebody who is has a white collar job the person, the, some menial job people are even richer than white collar, like them. The yeah. same back then, shit business is serious business, and that man was it's one of the. It's still serious business. It's still serious business. You get me? Um, uh, I'll just say that um, this is the year that people should stop talking more and start doing more. We are tired of just seeing, you know, posts and motivational posts and all of that. We need to see more of 
action, which is why I get mm. what you say. No more vision. Mm. So, so people just say, we know you have vision. vision. Turn you know you have vision. vision. Let's now make it a mission. You know, product. Let's do something concrete. All of the plans you've been making, let us now see the manifestation. So I think it's great advice from Peter. But what I don't really agree with is that if you are broke, nobody will feed you. Yes. Who will feed you? Who will feed you? Oh, we thank God for your life. We thank God for your life. <laughs> oh. Do you understand? You are not on the same wavelength <laughs> yeah. at all. Anyway, moving on real quick. A certain apostle, Chris, on Mashallah, has taken social media to share prophecies for the new year 2020. The self-acclaimed apostle has released a 15-point number of prophecies allegedly mm. revealed to him by God. The prophecies touches on local and foreign incidents mm. and different areas of life. However, mm. number one, five, and ten... <laughs> we feel, what is it? Number one, five, and ten were directed at the entertainment industry. Number one noted that he sees sudden death in the entertainment industry and that mm. there will be more celebrities dying than politicians. And now Kelly will <clears throat> Number this five year. pointed <laughs> at the rise of scandal against top American celebrities. And on number 10, the apostle went on to say that God told him mm. Naramali is a demon mm. and that his songs are demonically inspired to destroy the destiny of youths of this generation. He went on to say that Nigerian youth should desist from calling themselves Malians. Malians. He also said he saw a lot of attacks on Whiskey's personality, mm -hmm. asking him to act wise and ignore. I see if he's not But he has been ignoring, <laughs> like. Anyway, yeah, so. Um, Malians in the house. Oh. Over to the Malians. I wore belts today. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, my Malian people. I, I wish I didn't have to wear one today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, at the end of the day, when I saw this guy's post, I had to be think like, is it the same? Pastor Marshalla. Say Bwari will be sick. Princess. Mm. And he will travel with Princess, those. Pastor Princess. Princess, mm. don't princess princess you Yeah, exactly. You already had a sex scandal. Yeah, you had a sex tape. And then I saw a lot of funny tweets. Um, mm. People saying that after his sex tape, he heard the voice of God. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, it's so funny how people just come up with I think we spoke about prophecies mm -hmm. last time. Yeah. Was it Reno that said something yeah, about... People just come up with... So people just come up... Every, do you know how many prophecies we've seen for 2020 already? <sighs> what are we going to Final believe? House. Some people said... Uh, Buhari's administration will fail. Some people said that uh, Buhari will This guy is saying Buhari, 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 Buhari will do good yeah. things. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Like, I really don't get it. Like, we need one... God has just one voice. Whether mm. you're Christian, whether you're Muslim, well, whether... Me, it's just one voice. The issue I actually had with his own prophecy was where he was saying, don't criticize, mm -hmm. don't ask questions, don't criticize, don't ask questions. You're putting out this prophecy. <coughs> of course, we're going to No, he said just questions. pray, don't criticize. Well, I wouldn't... Well, 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 no disrespect to um, his congregation or people that follow this pastor. Oh, he also but says I his congregations even... will all have breakthrough. Oh, I wouldn't say, game. no disrespect to his <laughs> congregation or people that follow him, but I'm really sorry. I wouldn't even call you a man of God, especially mm. when you're saying that you make sex tapes. And yeah. you joking. And Naramali is a demon. I mean, come on. That one is just perfect. And he was actually making that sex tape as an unmarried man, so he was convincing fornication. Do you understand? Mm. Can you hmm. imagine? Well, well about, really about Naira Mali, about Naira Mali, yes, mm. some of the values he promotes in his songs may mm -hmm. not be reasonable. But saying it's a demon, that's quite a stretch. Do you I mean, understand? Like, it's not a demon. Like, there's no, it doesn't make any sense. No, no, but some of the values and how the people are misled. Look, a lot of people have had shows in a co hotel, they oh, never broke down the gates. Do you understand? <laughs> so but it was a demonic it's influence. A, it's a that no, made no manners. Please, let's it's talk about no the manners. ones that we understand as human beings because we are not, because we are not demons, demons right? or spirits. So, right? before we go on a very quick break, I'd like to share something really important <clears throat> with you. Saving is one of the ways you can make 2020 your best year yet. And my colo offers you an opportunity to start working on your financial stability and independence. Give yourself a chance. Start saving today. <clears throat> this is like a very beautiful colo in front of me. Um, you can see them on Instagram. My colo.ng that's simple m y k o l o dot n g today, and um, you can get this very beautiful one. I mean, they have different, different. He's actually the guy Ife was talking about yes. some minutes ago, and he has different designs. They could even look like um, what would I call it now? A design in your house, mm -hmm. and you just save. And at the end of the day, I'm sure you've seen people breaking their colo, and you are wondering, please mm -hmm. come and give me some. They won't give you. You need to start saving now. This is the January they started, mm -hmm. so get your own colo. And think about it. For every thousand naira mm -hmm. you put this in this every day, for mm -hmm. the rest of the year, you have about 300 and something. I mean, that's I something. Think, so please, yeah, save, 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 save. Get yours at mycolo.ng. And um, stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> 